You know what's crazy? They counting me out, and I ain't even get started yet. Bars! I seen, I seen friends turn to strangers. To this game, I'm no stranger. You get killed for pointing fingers. Still, I chop off your fingers. I'm too quick to slap a nigga. Need the woo side my anger. Keep on talking like big meat, and that's gonna put you in danger. In these streets, my shit be banging. Niggas sounding like singers. In the pistol, shit be stainless. I be drooling like painters. They can try to slow us down, but they cannot contain us. So you could try if you want. It's always one in the chain. Salute to everybody that support the movement. Y'all already know what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Music IMTV. Y'all can follow me on Twitter and Instagram as Music IMTV. And also on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Today I got a special guest. Like I always say, yeah, a special guest. Everybody on my show is special. You feel what I'm saying? Straight from the gate. Yep. He's an MC and a battle rapper. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Let the people know who you is. Um, you know, it's Ice the Rapper. Um, I'm a part of Overkill. You know me. I'm part of Body Bag Battle League. If you don't know, go check YouTube. I got a lot of footage. Um, about seven battles all together. Going to be working on a mixtape soon, so y'all make sure y'all look out. If you yeah. want to look me up on Facebook, Ice the Rapper. Uh, Twitter, Ice underscore in your window. I mean, what's okay. going on, man? You already know, man. Music I M T V had to definitely get with Ice the Rapper. It was only a matter of time where it was going to happen. You know, salute to Rizzo Brown. You feel me? My my bro, bro. Um, I definitely want to ask you, man, where you originally from? Um, you know, I'm from Burlington, North Carolina. You know, I reside at, uh, in Reedsville right now. But, mm. you know, I'm from Burlington. I'm from Burlington, right. North Carolina. That's what's up. I know you do music. You know what I mean? Um, what got you into wanting to be a hip-hop MC? Um, well, my father was real big on Rakim, you know, right. so that's who I was listening to when I was, you know, little kid Rakim, you know, Big Daddy Kane, um, um, X-Clan, you know, stuff like that, you know. Just true MCs, not of this rap today, but true MCs. Yeah. Um. What year? What year would you say that was that you started like being an MC? That I started rapping. I started back when I was in school. So, um, oh six, oh seven. Mm. Two thousand six, two thousand seven. Yeah. You know, I've been rapping a while. Well, you've been rapping. You've been rapping for about a good ten years now. Yeah, solid. That's, yeah, that's what's up. You know, I'm just hitting the battle scene, but I got a like maybe one mixtape I did with my boy. Yeah. You know, it was like a Jada Kiss and Styles P kind of uh, tape. Right. You know, it wasn't all that greatly produced, so we didn't really push it. But you know, I'm definitely trying to get back in that studio either this year. Or top of next year, okay, and no. um, you know, you, you know, and put some stuff together for my first solo release. So oh, that's that's what's up, man. Just um, you yeah. just mentioned battle rap, man. Um, when you got into battle rap, I've been in battling since man. I was gonna say it's been a while. Um, two thousand ten. 2010, but on cameras, last January, last January was my first on-camera battle. I've been battling off-cam for a long time, but that kind of brought this camera thing to the light, you know, to where dudes that's not really like on a murder mook status, on a, you know, on a loaded luck status can get paid and can, you know, and can get views and, to, you know, and can build your buzz up. So, I definitely took advantage last year, January. Mm. All right, all right. Did you um 
do you appreciate the fans in battle rap as more as a being an MC? Uh, oh. Oh. Do I appreciate the fans? Yeah. Do yeah. Do you appreciate your fans in battle rap? And in, and and as being an MC, do you appreciate your fans? Oh uh, yes, like that's one of the reasons why I started battling because you get more, more and quicker publicity. To where, like when you drop a mixtape as a battle rapper, they don't try to assume, oh, it's gonna be battling on the track. So, I definitely appreciate fans on both sides, but I feel like. Battling is more quick, you know. Yeah, yeah. You you get fans faster battle rapping than being an MC. Exactly. So when you were to drop a tape, being a battler, they want to check it out just because they seen you in that ring. They see how you do. They see you get busy. So they want to give you a chance because right. they're fans of your work. So you know that's why I've been kind of waiting to do my tape because. You know, I want to kind of build a bigger fan base. Then, then drop do, my tape. do battle rap takes you away from your music? A lot. A lot. Especially if, you know, I'm no chokes. I never choked in a battle. You know, I stumbled one time because I was caught mouth. You know, you know, I needed some water. But never choke, never stumble. I mean, never like a stumble as in I forgot my raps. You know, a stumble as in I need water, that's different. But no no chokes, no stumbles, always, you know, always come prepared and everything. So that does take a lot away from your music because you're so overly prepped for battles. You know, you got to make it to where you're tired of your raps. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, it does. What was the first battle league you battled on? First battle league ever, uh, Battleground Virginia. My first battle was in Virginia. I was supposed to go against a guy named, uh, if I can get his name right, um, I can't remember the guy's name personally, but um, we were supposed to go three rounds in Virginia. This was when North Carolina Battle League was up. You mean salute to them, but they're no longer um, up, up and doing their thing anymore, but uh, when they were um, in CBL, I did a one round on the spot against a vet in VA named P.D. Westrope. You know, yeah. if you're not familiar with him, you go check him out. Uh, P.D. Westrope, he definitely gave me that shot, that look. He didn't have to, but um, my opponent didn't show, so I had three rounds, and I just gave P.D. my first round, you know, nothing to – that crazy, no combined rounds or nothing like that. It's kind of on the spot one round, and like that's what kind of elevated me to like get some of the names I'm getting today. That's what's up, man. What inspired what 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 inspires you to do the battle rap thing? Um, because I was a poet first, you know, before I started rapping, I was a poet, so I like to be real intricate. With my bars, that you mean like the writing part is really what influences me because I like to write. So, you know, I could you know I could touch a lot of different places that a lot of people might not know about. But yeah. when you watch it on camera, you catch it more. So that's kind of what I do it for. I kind of do it for the footage. So when the footage drops, it's like wow, he's you know you know. He's touching areas that I'm not really accustomed to hearing on battle rap. You know? Yeah. Um, so. if you had ice, ice, if you had a chance to battle rap anybody, who would you battle? Most yeah. likely Loaded Lux. Definitely ah. pin. The pen is 
That's one thing I look at when I look at somebody I want to battle. How's he going to push my pen? How's he going to make me not just write something, but write a whole verse and be like, that's not good enough. I got to write something else. Yeah. And I feel like Loaded Lux would do that. A, high, a higher caliber will make you push your pen more. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Um, I used to rap, how do you take criticism? Um, I actually like it because when you first hear my style, a lot of people don't like it because it's a lot of overhead bars, a lot of stuff you might not get right there in the building. But when the footage comes out, they love it. So a lot of people that battle rap for the building, they don't like my style. You know, they say, you know, you like you should dub it down, you know. So in, in the Chris Kirk battle, that was one of my first battles I did it in. I kind of dubbed it down a little bit. And the criticism was actually good coming from – Coming from fans that used to see me and only watch my battles on camera, you, you know, they actually asked me, why did you dub it down some, you know, because I'm used to just fitting complex schemes and complex punchlines and wordplay and stuff like that. But when you kind of dumb it down so the crowd can get it, the criticism I've been receiving since Chris Kirk has been overwhelming. So you know, you know, I take it to it pretty well, constructive or or good, you know, bad or good. That's that's, that's definitely good to know, man. Um, what makes you different? Um, my style. I don't really rap like a. Um, if you guys are familiar with battling, maybe like a Sue Surf or like a um, B Magic. I'm not really like those guys. They rap regular, you know, like. You know, it's for a bar setup, sir. You know, I try to um, bring more diversity to my bars. Like, I might talk about NASA, or I might talk about poison ivy, the actual, actual tree, the plant. Like, you know, just very diverse, complex stuff that if you're not accustomed with, I can say it, and you might not catch it right then. Um, I still rapper. You have any new battles? Anything coming up? Um, yes, I have a battle in June. This battle is a part of Body Bag Battle League. I have a guy named J Rowe. June. I'm not sure the day yet. I think it's June tenth in Waycross, Georgia. They're doing yeah. an event in Georgia, and me and the guy J Rowe, we're doing three rounds, uh, three minutes. So that's my next next plate coming up. It might be May 1st as well. I'm not sure on the May 1st. That's why I can't say because it's not confirmed. Okay. But but May 1st would be in my hometown, Burlington. It's supposed to be May event, but I can't confirm that yet. So I can't say. But June 10th is definitely locked in. Uh, that's what's up. You're definitely working, man. I see, man. Yes, um, sir. Definitely working. I used to rap a, give me five battle leagues that you watch. It could be five more. battle leagues. Um, I got Body Bag Battle League, which is my home league. I check up on their battles every time one drops. I watch it. Um, I got We Go Hard TV. I got Smack, of course. Um, what's that three? I watch. Um, I kick it a dot, and I watch Black Ice Cartel. Oh yeah, definitely, man. Um, out of all your opponents, man, in battle rap, who who you thought was your toughest opponent? Um, see, that's actually a tough one because some artists test me in a different way. Like I battled a guy named O.A. Spade. He he tested my aggressiveness, you know, for me to be more aggressive in the ring. But if you watch my Chris Kirk battle, he tested my performance, like how I say my bars. But if you watch my battle with, um, I believe it was HD, he tested my pin like my pin pin. So I say HD, always, and 
Kush Kurt, all tested me in a different way. Now, now, how you feel about battle rappers having ghost writers? Uh, <laughs> it's crazy you said that. Um, I've ghostwritten for a couple people, you know, not that, not that I could speak on, of course, but, I mean, I don't know. Uh, it's tough to say because there's some people that won't ever make URL smack, but their pen is, is crazy enough to make it. But you got some people, oh, no, excuse me. Um, you got some people that's performance would make smack, but their pen won't. So I don't know, man. I'm kind of torn on it because I've done it before. Like nothing to say I would keep doing it, but, I mean, if the money's there, you know, you obviously have to take the money. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I'm not against it as well, so I'm kind of in the middle about it. You me, know? me personally, I hate it, so I really don't you like do? go and this stuff. Oh, wow, like okay. Yeah, yeah. You know, I feel like everyone, you know, should... Act should write the hell bars, yeah. Yeah, not only that, but if you got a character, I think you should, as an MC or a battle, I think you should be doing your own stuff. You know what I mean? It's just my yeah, opinion. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is what it is, though. Um, right. I rap, what was the best battle you watched lately? Best battle I watched lately? Um. I watched two battles last night. These have been my top battles I watched lately. Um, on URL and Charlie Clips and John John versus Big T and Saga. I watched that last night. Definitely fire. Definitely one of the best 2 twos I've seen in a while. And if you go to We Go Hard, they got a battle. King Money versus Bangs. Definitely fire. Those two have been my battles to watch. Definitely top battles. That's what's up. What you thought about that murder move <laughs> against Loaded Lux? What was your opinion on that? Cause that the was second part. one? Yeah. Um, it was a lot of gas on Murder Mook, of course. But, um, you know, I had Murder Mook, clearly. If you want to debate around on camera, it could be the first. Because Loaded Lux was first was tough. But other than that, I mean, Murder Mook got it clearly. I mean, Murder Mook, he's very seasoned. He knows what to do. He don't have to go punchline for punchline. He can talk to you. You know, he can do an angle. He can do different things. So I feel like if they battled again, though, I don't feel like Murder Mook would win. That's just my opinion. But battle definitely fire. And Mook. Two one possible three zero, because on camera that first is a little close. But other than that, I mean that's it. Ice the rapper, that's what's up. Man. Um, I really appreciate you giving me this interview. I know I got you up early to do this. You know what I mean? So, oh, it's okay, man. You know what I mean? It's all for the love, man. For real. Yeah, definitely. I definitely salute you. Um, I definitely yeah, salute I you. Uh, actually reaching out to me on the interview. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you got any shout-outs? Uh, yeah, you know, I like to shout-out Body Bag Battle League. Like, that's my league I'm with. Uh, I shout-out to Overkill. Um, shout-out to my Slag Lord brothers. Uh, shout-out to my Innuendo fam as well. Um, I mean, that's it. It's Mr. That Fire. Uh, Mr. He ain't built like that. Mr. Wipeout. I mean... You know, Ice the Rapper, you're being like signing off, man. That's what's up, man. Where can they find you at on the net, like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and all that? Um, You know, on Facebook, put in Ice the Rapper in Facebook. It should pop up. You hit me. You got any questions? You want to see my battles, stuff like that? You can put in Ice the Rapper Battle Rap and follow my Facebook fan page. Go to, go to YouTube, put in Ice the Rapper. Uh, go to Twitter, put in ice underscore in your window. You can follow me. 
I'm not really on Twitter as much as Facebook, but I definitely will follow you back. I definitely, you know what I'm saying? If you want to get, like, a playlist of my battles, hit me up. You know, I definitely will send them to you, you know what I mean? All that. That's what's up, man. Salute and shout out to you, man. You know, like I always say, man, salute to all the Spanish battle leagues and salute to all the English battle leagues out there doing their thing, man, and definitely salute to you, Ice the Rapper. Yes, sir. I definitely salute to you, brother. All day, man, and we out of here. Peace. All right, peace.